going to dub it the uh, Hunt for Red October, just for lols. Yo, what's up, old mates? On today's vlog, the hunt for the Muppet that tried to come to my house and take my bike when I wasn't even there. I know it's a nice bike and everybody wants to look at me when I like ride past them and stuff, but to come to my house, well, not actually knock on the door, don't see if anyone's home, turn up with your tow truck and just try and take it. So the story is, when this goes up, I may have already just put out like a short little off the bike, um, one of my off the bike playlist things that I'm trying to do in terms of, just not just all bike stuff, I went away and played some golf and uh, had a couple of days away down in Taupo in New Zealand. Yeah, so, this will probably come up after that. So we went away, played some golf. Coming home yesterday, my flatmate gave me a call. I missed the first call and then he called back straight away and I missed that because we were in some bad coverage kind of an area. And then he messaged me and he's like, hey, can you give me a call as soon as you can? And I thought, that's a bit strange. The only way or the only reason why well, the only reason why he'd be calling me would be one of probably three things. <clears throat> and all three of them are, I guess, uh, fairly on the bad side. So I thought, one, the house has been broken into, two, the house is burning down, or three, someone stole my bike. So I give him a call back, and he he's like, hey, uh, someone just came and tried to pick up your bike. So I guess the issue is with this, is that he, he decided that he wanted to um, wander around the property. My house and the landlord's house is down the back. Just sort of wandered around, didn't talk to anyone, didn't knock on any doors, didn't do any of that sort of stuff. And the landlord saw him wandering around. So she was like, so yeah, she was, she kind of asked the guy, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm here to pick up the bike. She's like, oh, she goes, it belongs to the tenant, or our tenant that lives in the house in the front here. And so she told him, oh, yeah, just go knock on the door, and they'll be able to give you some info of whatever's going on. She then went inside, spoke to her husband, he was like, yeah, you should go out and um, just keep an eye on that, because maybe get his license plate number or something like that. So... She went back, and he didn't come knocking on our house. He just went straight back to his truck. And by the time she got back out there, he was gone. So his whole thing was that he was there to pick up the bike. He said that <clears throat> that I was, or whoever the bike was, whoever believed it was, was going to leave him the key somewhere. So, I mean, I was never going to be organizing him to come pick up my bike. My bike's fine. It's not getting repoed. It's not broken down. And I thought that maybe he... You know, we thought maybe he just got to the wrong address, but you got to go down a driveway to get to it. And you're just there wondering, you just, when you get asked about what's going on, you say, hey, I'm there to pick up that bike. You're just saying you're there to pick up the bike. Like, no name, no nothing, just, hey, I'm going to pick up this bike, and uh, if you weren't here, I was going to just take it. I don't know about you, but that just seems rather dodgy, like... Just turn up, down a driver, oh, there's a bike there, hey, I'm here to pick up the bike. And when you get told that, hey, the people that actually own the bike live in this house here, just go knock on their door and talk to them, you just take off. So apparently it was like a, a tow truck, which uh, had like one of those like high ab cranes over the cab kind of thing, and like to be able to pick things up, you know, hook a chain to the bike and do that kind of thing. From the info that the landlord gave me about the guy that was doing it. it seemed like a, uh, a dude with like gin a fair skinned guy, a white dude with ginger hair. And I thought, hey, maybe he saw the orange bike and he was like, yo, I have some orange hair. 
maybe, maybe I should go take that bike and then I can match with the bike and be awesome. Almost be like Axel Rose riding a motorbike with orange hair out the back of an orange black bike. But yeah, so they saw the truck. Apparently it was like a blue and white tow truck, like I say, with a high app crane and all that kind of stuff over the front of it. From the info, all the stuff they thought, they thought the truck was somewhere in this area of Auckland or where they worked from or whatever. So I thought I'd come out today and just sort of roll around. See if I can spot the truck, you know, it could be anywhere. It might not even be in this area, it might not even be part of that company that they thought it was, so... And being that the guy had red hair, just trying to steal the bike and I'm out trying to find him or hunt him down, so to speak. I'm going to dub it the uh, Hunt for Red October, just for lols. Lol. Out rolling around. If you're in Auckland and you see a white and blue tow truck with a high ab crane on it with a ginger guy driving it, let me know. So yeah, that's the kind of the story of the dude coming to pinch my bike from my house. Hashtag hunt for Red October.